Kevin Sood. I am Clipper Guy for Jatai Academy, J A T A I dot net on the web. And welcome to another video in our series. This time we're talking texture and density of hair. And the questions are about suggestions or tips for working with clients with thicker and thinner hair. Let's take a look at thinner and finer hair. We defined texture as the thread-like property of each hair, and we defined density as hairs per square inch. And we used our four friends here to illustrate some comparative scenarios for what that hair might look like. Let's take a look at my tips for working with finer hair. First, let's take a look at fine hair with low density. Thread-like property is very slight, hairs per square inch is very low. Number one, let's go short. Length is the enemy of finer hair. Every millimeter that a piece of hair is longer, it is heavier, and it has more tendency to lay down and lay flat and look and nobody wants to look So one of the big secrets for thin and fine hair is get it short, pop it up, make it look like there's more. The next one on the list is keep it clean. Hair care product, scalp oils and dirt, weigh it down. Weigh it down equals pff. You've got more reason to look pff, and nobody wants to look pff. So again, we're gonna keep it short, we're gonna keep it clean. That's gonna make the most of thin and fine hair. The next one on the list is avoid conditioner. Even some of the greatest conditioners out there tend to be heavy. Heavy equals weight and weight equals, that's right, and nobody wants so by avoiding condition, and let's keep it real. If your hair is short, you don't keep it long enough to damage it. How much damage do you need? You certainly don't need detangler for short hair, and you don't need the heavy weight of conditioner to give your hair body and bounce and life and to look like it's more and to look like it's healthier. Last on the list is lighter styling products. There are some gels out there that are great for thin and fine hair. There are some pomades and waxes out there that are way too heavy and that are just going to make hair look, I'm not going to say it again, you know, flat and dead and less than exciting. So those are your tips for fine hair with low density. Let's look at the other side of the coin. This is fine hair with high density. This is somebody who's got a lot of hair. I jokingly sometimes refer to this as seal fur or otter fur. You know that some of these cold weather animals managed to live and survive in the Arctic by trapping air inside the hair because there's so much hair density there. And when they get wet, the water slides off. Have you ever had that client, you tip them back in the shampoo bowl and you lather them up and when they sit up, their scalp is still dry because they've got so much hair. Very different animal, very different situation, very different client. So here are my tips for finer hair that is higher in density. One thing is, longer's okay. Where this guy needed to be shorter, we can have a little more length because the hair's got a little more body and fullness by virtue of the hair supporting itself by having more hair. So longer is okay. The next thing is, I like to suggest for fine-haired clients that have quite a bit of hair, using color to create texture. Here's what I mean. Color services, lightening, hair, depositing hair color, uh, all of these color services are a form of controlled chemical damage. We're roughing up the cuticle, we're making, we're altering the texture of the hair by way of these chemicals. I can remember times when I had clients in the past where we colored them to match their natural color. Not to hide gray, but to simply use the colorant and its chemicals introduced into the hair as a way of altering the hair's texture and behavior. Many experienced hair professionals are well aware of how to use color, and I think our high density, fine textured clients are a perfect place to use color in this way as a tool to help us do better things and let clients' hair do things it otherwise wouldn't want to do. Last on the list, again, is to avoid heavy styling products. Our heavy waxes, our pomades, our oil-based uh, pomades, some of our very heavy gels are going to really sit on the hair and are going to really make it difficult to work with that hair. So the lighter weight, the water-based gels, even a firm hold gel, but that is water-based so it's a little lighter and a little more pliable because when you mix a firm hold gel with water, you don't get a light hold gel. You get a firm hold gel that is thinner and you're better able to evenly distribute it through lots of thick and heavy hair. So those are my tips for thin and fine, 
and dense and fine hair for styling and for working with hair. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web is where we live. Please subscribe for great education and video coming at you all the time. I live at IvanZoot.com on the web. We'll see you there. We'll see you here. We'll see you again. Thank you.